Hey, welcome back to another walkthrough. This week we're going to work on PowerPoint Chapter 18. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to download our Chapter 18 Grader Project. We'll download our materials and we're going to download the instructions, the student file, and these different files here, our uh, theme, our different slides, and our JPEG. Once again, do not download all files. It downloads a zip file, makes it difficult to save and submit. All right, let's open up our student file. And hit enable editing. All right, so notice that we have a tabbed interface just like our other Office applications we've used and everything is under groupings as well. And there are a lot of similarities between this, Word, and PowerPoint, Excel, all of the different programs. Very first thing we want to do for step number two, it wants us to replace all occurrences of text north to northern. So just like in Word, we're going to come up here to our Home tab. We're going to go to our editing group and click on replace. And what are we going to find? We're going to type in north and we are going to replace it with northern. So once you've typed in north, replace with northern, hit replace all and two replacements will be made. Go ahead and hit OK and exit out of this little box right here. It wants us to change the slide la uh, layout of slide one to title slide. So over here is our slide selectors on the left hand side. So make sure slide one is selected as the red border going around it. And we're going to come to our home tab under our slides group here. Notice that we have a layout button. Let's click on layout and we're going to change it to a title slide. And if this design ideas pops up, you can go ahead and close out of that. So for step number three, it wants us to apply an ion boardroom theme. Well, our themes are going to be under the design tab. So we'll go ahead and click on the design tab. And here are our themes. We have several of them showing. I'm going to click this down arrow with the line above it. And I'm going to hover over until I find ion boardroom. And it looks like it is this purple one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And I want to do the purple variant. So we are already on its default purple variant. Now on slide or step number four, it wants us to change the size of the slides to widescreen. So by default, this is automatically uh, set up for a uh, an old screen uh, four by three. So we want to change it to a 16 by nine si slide size. And that's going to be under our design tab, under our customize group where it says slide size. We'll click on that and we're going to change it to a widescreen. And notice now it'll make it a widescreen format and we'll have a little bit of extra room on the sides. So now on slide number two for step number five, let's go ahead and click on slide number two. And notice how we still have the old theme, the old blue theme here. And notice that we have the ion theme here. So what we need to do is let's go ahead and go ahead and click back on the slide number two here. Make sure slide two is selected. Let's go ahead and come back up here to our themes. And let's click the down arrow with the themes here. So more. And under this presentation, we have Ion Boardroom used by slide one. Let's go ahead and come down here to our office group. Let's find the Ion Boardroom. Let's right click on it. And we are going to apply to all slides. And what that will do now is it will change the uh, presentation, all the slides to our Ion Boardroom. And we'll go ahead and exit out of this design ideas that pops up again. So now display slide number two, open the reuse slide pane from your downloaded grader files and we are going to insert the slides that we downloaded. Uh, to do that, we'll go to our insert tab here. Notice under our insert tab, we have our slides grouping and we have this thing that says reuse slides. Let's go ahead and click on reuse slides. 
and we'll come up with our side pane here. Now for me, it's actually pulling from uh, our downloads folder because we down just recently downloaded it. And here it is, it says Alaska Slides. We'll go ahead and click on Choose Slides. And from our Choose Slides, it wants us to, to select the last two slides. So we'll click on slide four and slide five. And notice how they put in, uh, they come into here. It says if necessary, uh, clear the keep source formatting checkbox. Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the this version of Word has been updated. So once you've clicked on those and they are now in there, we can go ahead and exit out of our re slides. And notice that our formatting is different. So we want to change it to the Ion Boardroom theme. So we'll come back up here to our Design tab. From our Design tab, we will right click on Ion Boardroom. You might have to click the down arrow with the line above it, come down to More. So find Ion Boardroom, right click on it and apply to all slides. And notice now it will apply the Ion Boardroom theme to our two new slides. And we can exit out of our design ideas. All right, now on slide two, so we'll go ahead and go back to slide number two. We'll use our sl slide selector over here on the left-hand side. And it wants us to uh, click at the end of the first bullet point. So right here where it says best time, let's go ahead and click uh, right after best time, put our cursor after best time, and hit spacebar for viewing. And then on the same slide, it wants us to increase the list level of the second and third bullets. So we'll go ahead and highlight both of these. We'll highlight late fall, early spring, and between 10 a.m. and 2 a.m. We'll come up to our home tab here. From our home tab, we will come to our paragraph grouping, and we have this icon right here that says increased list level. And we'll click on that, and it will put those underneath our best time for viewing. And lastly, it wants us to change the bullet points to on slide two to uh, arrow bullets. So we'll go ahead and highlight all of our text on this slide two right here. And we'll come back up to our paragraph grouping. We'll click the down arrow and we will select the arrow bullets, which is this one right here. Now on step number seven, uh, with slide two still selected, so we're still in slide two. It, it says select the title and change the font size to 32. So let's come up here, this is our title, we'll click on our title, and let's highlight our title. And we will change the font size, so we'll come to our Home tab under our Font Group, and change this to 32. It says in the Notes pane, type in the following notes. Well, if you notice down here at the very bottom of our screen, we have what says Notes. If we click on that, our Notes pane, our Click to Add Notes will pop up. And let's go ahead and click there and let's type in the lights reach their peak in September and March. And make sure you include the period. Now on step number eight, it wants us to go to slide number three. So let's go to our slide selector over here and let's click on slide number three. And it wants us to select the text uh, of the paragraph. So let's go ahead and click in here. Let's go ahead and highlight this text. And it wants us to change it to font color purple accent six lighter. Now we'll come up here to our font group. We will click on our font colors right here click the down arrow and we will find the purple purple accent 6 60% uh, lighter 60% so right here this third color down and it wants us to change the font size to 16 and apply bold now we'll come up here to our font group we'll apply 16 and we will click B for bold right here on step number nine, in the same paragraph, change the line spacing to 1.5. So notice we are still selected, so make sure you're still highlighted here. And let's come up here to our paragraph grouping, and let's click on this little guy right here, our paragraph dialog box. 
and uh, let's change our spacing where it says line spacing let's change it from single to 1.5 and where it's uh, and then hit OK and lastly we're going to come to our paragraph grouping here and hit the center button so it is centered oh and it wants us to center the paragraph and the title slide and the slide title so we'll come up here to the Aborus, the Aurora Boris, and we'll go ahead and hit center as well. Now it says with slide three still selected, we want to uh, format the picture. So let's go ahead and click on our picture. Notice when we click on the picture, we have our for, uh, contextual tab here. So we'll, under our picture tools, it will click on format. And it wants us to format the picture with soft edge rectangle picture style. So let's come to our picture styles right here and click the down arrow with the line above it. And we are going to find the one that is a rectangle soft edges, uh, which it is this one right here. And it wants us to use the marker artistic effect. So we'll come over here to our adjust group under artistic effects. Click on that and let's find the one that says marker which is the second one over. All right, for step number 11, uh, it says display slide number four. So we'll scroll down here on our slide selector. We'll select slide number four. And the content placeholder on the right from our downloaded grader files, we want to insert the picture. So we'll come over here to our click uh, to add text. Notice there are these icons right here. We wanna find the one that says picture, which is this icon here. We'll click on picture. We'll go to our downloads folder because that's where we downloaded everything. And here it is, our lights, P-O-1-G lights. So we'll click on that and hit insert. And there it is. We have our picture inserted. It wants us to apply a rec reflected rounded rectangle picture style. So we'll come up here to our format tab. Under our picture styles, we'll click the down arrow. And we want to find a rounded picture uh, that has a, a reflection. So rounded rectangle, let's see here. Reflected rounded rectangle. So it is this one right here. We'll click on that. Notice how it gives us a rounded rectangle, gives us a little bit of a mirror finish down here at the bottom. And lastly, it wants us to change the height of the picture to 3.8. So we'll come up here to our size group and we'll change the height from 3.5 to 3.8, hit enter. Makes it a little bit bigger for us. For step number 12, it wants us to move slide three between slides one and two. So we'll come up here, we'll come to our slide selector. Go ahead and click hold on slide three and just drag it up in between one and two. And now it will become the new slide number two. Let's go ahead and go back to slide number four. We'll click back on slide number four. And it wants us to insert a new slide with section header layout. And we'll come up here to our home tab, under our home tab, under slides. Under new slide, we'll click the down arrow. And we wanna find where it says section header layout, which is this one right here, the third one over. And we'll click on that. It says click to add a title. So let's go ahead and click on click to add a title. And we will type in visit Fairbanks and view the Northern Lights exclamation point. And then in the text placeholder right here where it says add text, we're going to type in with Kodiak West travel all right so once we have our text typed in it wants us to apply the uncover transition and change the effect options from top well, we'll come up here to our transitions tab notice I have lots of transitions showing I'm going to click the down arrow with the line above it and I want to find the uncover transition and here it is. Here's the uncover transition. And when you click on it, it'll give us a preview of what it will look like. And we want to change it from top. So we'll come over here to our effect options. Click this and from top. 
Notice how it changes the direction. Now we want to change the timing by increasing the duration to 1.25. So our duration under timing, let's change it to 1.25. And we want to apply this transition effect to all slides. So let's go ahead and click on apply to all. And now all of our slides will have that exact same uh, transition. All right, now we're just going to do a little bit of house cleaning. We're going to insert a header and footer. And we'll go to our insert tab. From our insert tab under our text grouping, under header footer, under notes and handouts, we want to include the date and time, which will be updated automatically, so make sure it says updated automatically. We want to include the page number, so make sure that's checkmarked. And we want to put in a footer, so put a check mark next to the footer and type in Northern Lights presentation. And once Northern Lights uh, presentation uh, has been typed in, go ahead and hit apply to all. Let's go to our document properties. That's under the file tab. Under file tab, we have our tags right here. We'll click add a tag. And in all lowercase, we'll type in Northern Lights, comma, space, and a capital uh, Fairbanks. And we are done. We can go ahead and save our file. We'll hit the save button. We'll hit the save button again for good measure and close out of it. And now we need to come back to our download starting materials. And we'll come over here to choose file. And we will find the file. We want to do the greater project one right here, greater project, the one with your name. Hit open and upload and submit for grading. And I'll close my assignment and let's see how we did. I'll scroll down here, click on my three arrow, three dots, hit view submissions. And it looks like I got a 97%. I'll click on my 97. Click on the submission and scroll down to find out what I did wrong. It looks like uh, I did something wrong on step 13, I'll click the down arrow. And it says that uh, the text was not set properly. So most likely what happened is I included that period when I should not have included that period. Click on West Kodiak West Travel and get rid of that period. I will choose file. And I will again select the greater project with my name, hit open, upload, and submit for grading. And I'll close my assignment. And then I'll scroll down to see how well I did. And now I have 100%. Once again, if you need to contact me, contact me through Canvas and have a wonderful day. Hey, thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to the channel as I'll be posting new walkthroughs and tech tips each week. Check back regularly for new content and have a wonderful day.